Okay guys, a number of the articles I wrote uh, looked at the fighters with the highest ring IQ. Um, now, boxing is a game uh, where a lot of people seem to, or a lot of people will look at how fast a boxer is, how hard a boxer hits, uh, but the real truth of the matter is that fighting is a thinking man's game. Um, you can be as fast as you want, uh, but if you don't have a fast mind, then it will be more and more difficult for you to scale those heights and get to the top of the boxing tree. So in this video, I'm going to look at one of the fighters I named in my article as one of the smartest I think we've ever seen step foot in the ring. Okay, so his name is Charlie Burley. Now Burley was a welterweight who then fought at middleweight and would fight heavyweights. So that's one reason alone uh, which proves how sharp his IQ is because you cannot be an actual welterweight um, or middleweight and then fight men who are 70 pounds heavier than you without having um, a very really high boxing IQ because you're just going to get steamrolled if you try to go toe to toe, so you've got to use your mind. Uh, we can also look at um, a man named Archie Moore, one of the greatest fighters of all time, who mentioned Burley as being the best fighter he came up against and he mentioned how Burley was so good at fainting um, they would be fainted out uh, by Burley's eyes. Now Burley, there's not much footage of him available unfortunately. Um, what we see on YouTube is against a man named um, Oakland Billy Smith. And we can see uh, just by that video that Burley is noticeably smaller than his opponent, but yet Burley puts on a clinic against this um, thing, this bigger man, so again, demonstrates his big IQ. Okay, so Charlie Burley was known uh, more as a counter puncher. He was not a high volume puncher. Um, he was very accurate with his punches. So again, we see someone, um, a counter puncher, not a high volume puncher, picks his punches. We, we can see just by those things as well um, that he was mad, he was thinking about his game. Burley was also part of the infamous Black Murderers Row group of boxers. Now this group uh, was a group of black fighters who were so avoided uh, by uh, many of the time that they then had to make a group amongst themselves and just fight each other multiple times. And Charlie Burley was regarded as the best of these Black Murderers Row fighters. Burley was also so good um, that the rumour was that Sugar Ray Robinson was signed to fight Burley, but after seeing Burley fight, he decided to um, double his wage as to how much money he demanded. Now, Burley was great at using feints, he knew his distance uh, perfectly, and he was a great counter puncher. So that's Charlie Burley, one of the fighters who I believe had the highest swing IQs. In the next video, I have a look at another of the fighters I named in my article.